Hey yo 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 what's going on this is your boy Will Fresco and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to get your hands on the effervescent fire drill all right first things first no this gun is not in the game so the way that we're gonna get it is using Gib now I know a lot of you guys might have heard of Gib and you don't know what it is unfortunately this is only gonna be for PC players unless for some way somehow you can save the data onto a flash drive and put it on your PS4 or your Xbox I don't know about that I'm not I'm not that good you know what I mean but I do know how to get it for PC I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-step -step how to do it and um, so like that you guys can play along with it I'm pretty sure you guys seen videos already about it I'm not gonna talk too much about the pistol I'm here to show you guys exactly how to get it now if this pistol looks familiar to you it's because it is it's nothing but an effervescent I'm not gonna say effervescent that's for the intellectuals it is nothing but a rainbow infinity pistol with a 100% chance to ignite so basically every shot you shoot is gonna light these dudes on fire now this would have been a great addition to this DLC only because there are a lot of infected plant type enemies and the fire would just shred them as you can see in the gameplay behind me it is just shredding them like literally like it shreds them like that like they, they're being put through a freaking shredder like they're getting just murdered right now I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps as to how you guys could get this pistol now I'm gonna do a very in-depth step by step so you guys can follow along and then you guys hopefully could play along with it you know what I mean play with the pistol have a little fun with it um, a couple of notes that you need to know about the pistol is that it is a little glitchy so let's say once you upload the pistol onto your profile what happens is if you leave the game then you will not have it in your inventory anymore it disappears so what you would have to do is just do the whole process all over again once you learn the process it is pretty quick it is pretty easy i mean it's worth it i'm gonna be honest i played with it just to um have a little fun and for the video it was definitely worth it so i'd recommend if you can do it play along with it don't just watch the youtubers on here playing with it you know what i mean have some fun with it yourself and why am i teaching you guys all these youtube secrets because YouTubers do not deserve all this power, all right? So with that being said, let's start the tutorial. First things first, what is Gibbed, all right? Gibbed is a save editor. You're able to mod or alter your profile, your weapons, items, etc. blah, blah, blah. Some people might call it modding. Some people might call it cheats. I call it game enhancement. Kind of like what Viagra is to boners. They're boner enhancements. That is what Gibbed is to Borderlands. It is a game enhancement, all right? Gibbed is Viagra for Borderlands. Now, where do you get Gibbed? I'm going to leave the download link to Gibbed in the description below. So all you have to do is click the link and download it. I'm going to make it real simple for you guys. So again, in order to get Gibbed, look down in the description. I will label it download Gibbed here and then that link and that link will be the link to download Gibbed. All right, so once you open Gibbed, this is what you get right here. You get this screen right here. You're gonna start off by clicking open, all right? You gotta get to your save data. In order to modify your save data, you have to open it. So you're gonna click right here, and then you're gonna get this screen here. Okay, this screen is basically your file explorer. We've gotta locate the save data file, all right? I'm gonna show you guys the path to my save data file, only because when I downloaded Borderlands, I didn't do anything to it, I didn't move it. So you guys might have the same file location, but it may not be, you know what I mean? So if it's not in this file location, then you gotta locate it within your folders. Okay, so this is my file path right here. You guys can follow it along. If this is by default, then you guys should find the save data folder the same as mine. And um, we're gonna start off by going to documents. Then we're going to my games. Then Borderlands 2, Willow Games, save data. Now you're looking for this folder right here with a whole bunch of random numbers. This is the folder where your saved data is. You're going to open that and then you're going to get these files right here. This is your saved games. Now you can't tell if it's Salvador or Zero or blah blah blah. You can't tell that from here. But just pick one. Once you pick one it's going to close you out. It's going to take you right back to Gib. Now what you want to do in Gib is you want to click on the character screen. Right and this right here is going to tell you which save file that is. Like for me, for example, this one is Salvador. So I know it's my Salvador save file. Now we're back at the general tab and assuming everything is good, you got the right save file and all that good stuff. All you want to do now is hit backpack. Now, if you notice, it's going to show you everything you have in your backpack and you're going to see a spot where it says paste code. All right. This is going to be the simple way. I'm going to write the code down in the description. So just copy and paste it from the description below. It is going to be called fire drill code here semicolon all right and then that's going to be the code got it 
So that's what we're gonna do. Once you enter the code, it's gonna autofill all this right here. Now, if you don't wanna use the code and you wanna manually fill it yourself, these are the stats for the weapon. All you have to do is put these exact stats on the corresponding slots and you'll be good to go. Once you're satisfied with everything, click save and then it'll prompt you to save the file. Make sure you choose the same file that you opened up to begin with. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna replace it? Click yes and you're all done. You could close out Gib, start up your game. Make sure you select the file where you chose for the Gib. You know what I mean? If you chose Gunzerker, make sure you go to select character, rechoose Gunzerker, and then continue your campaign or continue your game. Now, once you open the game, your weapon is not gonna be loaded up right away. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna be equipped. That's what I meant, sorry. So you have to go into your inventory. It is not going to be, at least in my case, it never shows up on the inventory with all my other rainbow weapons. But when you do scroll down, you will see it and then you're able to equip it. Now keep in mind that once you leave the game, you will lose the weapon, all right? Because the weapon glitches out. That's probably one of the main reasons it's not in the game because they have problems. It's not in the game right now for a certain reason. And you got the weapon, all right? So keep it in mind that when you do leave the game, it is going to disappear from your inventory. And then if you want it again, make sure to follow the steps that you just did to get it there in the first place. All right? So uh, that's it for the video. I just wanted to teach you guys how to get it so you guys can play with it. You know what I mean? Instead of watching these damn YouTubers making videos about it. So uh, if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, then definitely drop a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay informed with all of my content and all that good stuff and you you want to see some more borderlands stuff then definitely consider subscribing because i do have some more borderlands 2 and soon to be borderlands 3 content coming your way all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one all right peace